What's going on, Colts Nation? Welcome back to another episode of the Bring the Juice Colts podcast. Just me here right now, and uh, I know some of you have been saying, oh, I want to go back and t- to see the Derek's Dexter basement. Well, if you were one of those people, well, congratulations, you're getting your wish, okay? <laughs> Great job. But anyway, um, guys, we wanted to make a quick video here just talking about some uh, names from the Indianapolis Colts that have – either re-signed or have gone somewhere else. Um, A couple names that have come through here on this Tuesday. First things first, uh, wanted to say congratulations to Jacoby Brissett uh, signing a one-year deal with the Miami Dolphins to be the quarter, to be a quarterback over there. Um, Unsure how that's going to work out with, you know, how everything is going over there Uh, with Fitz magic gone, you know, it'll be him and Tua at least there right now. And, you know, have a chance to compete and do what he's got to do. But, um, again, wanted to say congratulations to Jacoby. You know, he's been a great teammate, a great leader, a great influence in this community. And, you know, we everybody may have their opinions on whether or not Jacoby Brissett was the uh, best quarterback he could be here. But I think we all can be in agreement that, uh, you know, he just – he's been a phenomenal guy. And he is just led by example. And, you know, through so many different things that he's had to deal with along with the rest of this team, you know, I'm I'm super glad we had him. You know, he, he handled everything the way that he should have been. And uh, I, I'm truly happy for him that he's going to have another opportunity. And, uh, yeah, so no, now with that happening, you know, the backup role for the Colts is now wide open. And I think most likely that means uh, Jacob Eason's going to be the backup for right now. So we'll have to see how that situation plays out. But again, congratulations to Jacoby Brissett. And then we can talk about the two players today that were uh, tenured uh, for a, a compensational draft pick today. And one of those was Zach Paschal. Zach Paschal's tenure value was around th- almost three and a half million dollars. Um, Zach Pascal can go out into the open market to um, see if he can find something, but the Colts have the option to match any offer that he gets. And, you know, Zach Pascal could also just sign right away to Indianapolis right now. I mean, it, it, there's a lot that's still going to be considered, but it most likely means that uh, Zach Pascal is staying. So, um, with, you know, the Indianapolis Colts third wide receiver looks uh, appears to be staying in Indianapolis for at least a little while longer. So that's really good to see. And then um, and then the big one that a lot of people have been talking about today was George Odom. Now, uh, George Odom was also tenured today, but was not very happy with the value of the tenure that he was given uh, even sent out a tweet saying he was disrespected and disappointed in what the Colts had provided him. Um, look, I'm not in the business of knowing what they offered or what uh, or how much they think he's worth. I mean, ultimately, I think that uh, the Colts would love to have him back, but obviously everybody has their own price. And, um, you know, as much as I would really like to have George Odom back, uh I think George Odom did say he's going to test the open market. It seems like he's pretty upset with the low ball that he was given by the Colts. And he looks like he's definitely going to try his luck out in free agency to see what other options are out there for him currently. Uh, And I don't blame him. You know, I definitely want him to go get his money. And I think he's a versatile weapon that uh, is used in more ways than just special teams. And, you know, I think there's a team out there that probably be willing to take him on. Um, but basically, you know, recapping the day for the Colts so far. Uh, and, you know, whenever this gets posted, I'm not sure, it'll probably get posted a day after. But uh, Jacoby Reset, backup quarterback gone, uh, signed a one year deal with the Miami Dolphins. Uh, Zach Pascal's tenure uh, was uh, approved today. And he's uh, most likely going to be returning. And George Odom has the opportunity to return, but looks as if he's going to test the open market 
to see if he can get a deal from somebody else because it doesn't seem that he's very happy with how the Colts handled his contract situation. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, let me know if there's somebody that you're upset with that the Colts didn't keep or how they handled something, if they handled everything right. How, how do you guys feel about all of these names being thrown out there? But thank you guys so much for tuning in as always. And as always, go Colts.